Virgo, this is going to be your August 9th through the 15th reading. I hope you're doing well. This is going to be for the sign of Virgo. That can be Tropic, Vedic, or Sidereal Astrology. Whichever astrology you may use, if you have a Virgo placement and your readings usually resonate, this may resonate, okay? Do not take everything because everything will not apply. I do have a good bit of subscribers, so that's not supposed to be in this deck. But anyway, um... But they look similar. I can see why I just like shoved it in there probably at three in the morning. But anyway, uh, please like, comment, and share my videos. Help me grow my channel. Virgo, you guys showed up in a, such a big way uh, last reading. You guys came through. I was like, hold on, Virgo. Y'all trying to take over? Okay, like 11,000 views, 13,000 views in a day or something. Okay, Virgo. I mean, I'm not I'm not mad. Like, if you want to continue to keep showering me with that love, please do so. You know what I'm saying? Please make sure to comment and like this, okay? Like y'all did the last video, okay? So, we have your commitment is being tested, okay? So, there's a commitment with someone you already have, whether you want it or not. Because sometimes you feel committed to somebody even though you don't even want to feel committed to that person. That could be what's going on for you, but it's being tested nonetheless, okay? So we have past life relationship. You have known each other before. So this could be definitely some sort of twin flame situation you have very soon. So maybe there's someone you're not talking to and there's communication coming in from this person. Ooh. All right. We had two cards fall out. We have hotter, <laughs> hotter than an August Virgo. What's up to my August Virgo? Hey, in your reading and we have vibing like a cancer some of you guys can be dealing with a cancer but i definitely get opposite energies off of you and this person so maybe you guys are very different from the person you're connecting with or they could definitely be a water sign okay or another virgo i am getting an earth sign maybe a taurus or a capricorn aries okay for some of you leo all right so let's see what is going on for my Virgos, what's going on for their person? What is their person thinking and feeling for them? August 9th through the 15th for Virgo, please, Spirit. August 9th through the 15th for Virgo. Ooh, hmm. Four of Wands for their thoughts and Empress for how they feel. I mean, we could just wrap the reading up unless you guys just wanna hear about how great you are. And, and it, in that case, let's just keep moving, right, Virgo? I'm sure that doesn't hurt your ego or anything, you know, hearing about how magnificent you are. So this person sees you definitely as someone they want to commit to, okay? Maybe they feel like their commitment to you is being tested, okay? Uh, I feel like, again, you could be dealing with like a Taurus, Libra, Aries, another Virgo. This person sees you as someone that they want a wife, okay? If some of you are already married, and this is someone who's not, you're not married to, but they want to get married to you, okay? Four of Wands definitely can make this a divine counterpart situation. They may see you as someone who's getting married too. Maybe some of you guys moved on from somebody from your past and now you're getting married to someone else. Or like I said, this is definitely someone that you could have moved on from and gotten married and they see you as a married woman or man. All right. So this could be your side, boo Virgo. I don't know. All right. Yeah, the Seven of Pentacles, how you're influencing this person. They're not leaving your life. If you're dealing with a Taurus... Okay, a Capricorn, a fire sign, a Cancer. This person is not leaving your life. They feel like they're watering seeds. They feel like they're putting in work, whatever that may be. Uh, they could be waiting to hear from you. Okay, this is someone who's waiting to hear from you. Or you're, you may be waiting to hear from this person, but maybe they feel like they're working in their own life to try to manifest this connection with you. Clarify the four wands for Virgo's person's thoughts, please. We have the lovers and the seven of cups. Yeah, see, I wonder who's loving you. I'm hearing Michael Jackson, okay, who is a Virgo in Western astrology, but I have lots of issues with that. I'm not going to get into it, but whatever. Anyway, moving along. Um, <laughs> the lovers and the seven of cups. Um, who's loving you? So I'm, I'm hearing that. So this person's wondering who's loving you possibly, who your other options are if you're single and you're out here mingling. Okay, or they may want to know what's going on in your relationship because, like I said, some of you this is your side boo, so they could be trying to figure out what's going on in your relationship. They could be going to readers, asking other people how your marriage is doing, if you're still married, or is everything okay because they're trying to hope and like you, you come out of that for them. Could be that 
The seven of wands, you block this person, Virgo. I've been getting this energy for you a lot. You blocking somebody. The chariot. See, this person ain't stopping. This is the same energy I've been getting, Virgo. This person that's been wanting to fix this. They're still here. Cancer, chariot, someone who's trying to fix this. And you're just like, oh, look at you. Look at you. you you're so cute thinking that you can just overcome whatever it is that I made me block you. This is the little engine that could. That's what I feel like. Maybe this person trying to get a divorce now. To, maybe they're married and they and they and you're single. You've been like, you know, waiting on them for a while. Then you got over it. You start moving on. You start, start opening up your options. And now they want to hear they want to come talk about, oh, I'm getting a divorce. Oh, I'll leave them for you. Da, 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 da. So you're like, mm hmm. Here's this good old block or at least blocking my emotions, blocking my energies, protecting myself. Clarify this chariot for Virgo's person. They want to overcome this. They want to overcome whatever obstacles. They The five of wands just showed itself to me. So maybe this person, again, feels like you have other suitors and they want to be the number one. Definitely get me Leo energy. Yeah, this person misses you. For some of you, this person is having financial troubles, okay? This person could be out looking for a new job or something, okay? They could be having some financial troubles with the five of pentacles. But I kind of feel like this is them being lonely because the five of pentacles usually has two people. This is one person. So this could be someone, again, that you cut off. And I still, I feel like you still haven't talked to this person. For some of you, you haven't talked to this person the whole July. This could be someone you work with. Yeah, you're not interested. The four of cups, you're not interested. And you have other, you have other suitors either at work or you've just been focused on work. And I've been telling you guys, I've been saying this to you. A lot of you guys are sidereal Virgos. Like some of you guys are Vedic Virgos and you looked up your chart and you're here. Because I'm getting strong, actual, true Virgo energy. Devil. Some of you could be a Capricorn. Worlds. One more. Yeah, you're like ending toxic cycles in your life. I feel like you feel this person is toxic. For a lot of you, this person's married. Okay, or they're in another relationship and you're trying to move on from that. You're trying to grow from those types of situations. Okay, so this person feels like you're moving farther and farther away from them and they're chasing you. So this person is chasing you, Virgo. That's what I'm getting. Either it's happening on an energetic level. It may not be happening in the physical world. For a lot of you, this is happening in the physical world, though. This is someone who's not trying to let you go. It could even be your spouse. It could be someone who's trying to reconcile a marriage that you're trying to move out of. Okay, it could be that as well. Maybe this spouse cheated on you a lot. Okay, for some of you, I'm getting two different people as I always do because Virgos are players. They try to act like they ain't, but whatever. Okay, you can't tell me nothing. I was created in a womb of a so-called Virgo, so you can't tell me. All right, I'm not speaking for all of y'all, but especially the August ones. Okay, y'all like to have y'all options. Y'all will settle down. But if there's a reason for you not to be settled anymore, the options start coming in, okay? If you don't want to admit it, that's fine. I'm just real talk over here, so I don't know how, and I don't know any other way to be, especially when I've, I've observed, and this is an August thing, period. I don't want to just say it's Virgos, but I'm just talking about Virgos because you read, it's August, period, okay? I'm born in August. So, especially for the August Virgos, Septembers can be like that too, but Septembers do have, they are more... They'll try to make it work longer. Okay, that's put it that way. I don't want to say that they're more loyal. Maybe you can say that, but they're the Septembers are more mutable. Okay, they're more mutable than the August. Okay, August is like principle based. Once certain principles are crossed or certain principles are not lived up to, they feel like the contract is revoked. This is why August Virgos actually make some of the best lawyers out there. Because you guys can come up with, oh, well, the reason why I did this, and it be legitimate as fuck, and people be mad, but it's like, yo, can you really say anything? You you invalidated this contract that we have with each other by doing this or something like that. So to go on a tangent, but not to go on a tangent, but it's irrelevant to the reading, you know what I'm saying? Uh, some of you out here, this is your spouse, okay? And you have someone else that you're interested in now. You're deciding that you don't want to get, you don't want to stay married because this person has maybe cheated one too many times, overspent y'all money. Some of you, this person, some of y'all are married to somebody with a gambling habit or a cheating problem. It's one of those two things, okay? Um, or this is your person, you know, they could be married to someone like that or they're like that and they're trying to work through this issue. Because a lot of you are looking at this person like, well, if you can't even stay devoted to the spouse that you've been married to, I know your ass ain't going to be devoted to me. So you're just like, you know, what's the point? Okay. So a lot of you are putting up a huge resistance. And I definitely, like I said, I'm getting both August and September. The August are really not here for the shit. Like August, I'm getting very much so like, 
lots of blockages, lots of like, what are you here? Like, don't message me, don't talk to me. Okay, I'm not saying September's not like that, but it's just with the hotter than August Virgo, I'm feeling that energy very fiery. Okay, um, so, you know, if it applies, let it apply. If it doesn't, please don't take it and please don't get vexed in the comments if it's not you. I, I haven't met every Virgo in the world, okay? Um, it's not possible. So, yeah, this is your extended card. We're going to look at this person's next actions towards you if you still want to know, okay? If you still are interested to know this person's next actions because some of you are, mm, that's fine if you don't want to get the extended because I can see it here. You're like, nah, I just came in to check up on my love life and give you some views, Harley, and a like. I appreciate it. Hi, okay? But if you are interested in the extended, check out the link below, okay? We can follow you over there. We're going to see this person's next actions. And we're then, then we're going to look through uh, the 15th through the 31st, which is actually Virgo season. So we'll see what's going on with this person during that time, okay? And we'll pull more oracles, all right? If you guys need anything else from me, check out the description box below. Thank you so much, Virgo, for all the love. I hope that this reading resonated for you. I know I put a lot of information in it, but the reading was pretty straight to the point. If I would have just ended the reading, you only had like a six minute reading. So I like the little talk there that we had. Okay. So I see you all in the, I'll see you all in the extended. If not, I hope you all have a great rest of your week and I will see you for the next reading. Okay. Bye Virgo.